What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. This video is sponsored by Bark and this is the Bark smartphone. It is a kid's smartphone with built-in parental controls, no big upfront costs, no contracts that you're locked into and you definitely want to check this out if you have a kid because it's going to allow you to monitor their activities and control their screen time and much, much more. So let's do an unboxing. We'll go completely through this and let's go. All right, so here's a closer look at the box. You can see powered by Bark. It's actually a Samsung smartphone inside. All right, so inside of the box, you get your the best phone for kids, powered by Bark, meet your new phone. Terms and conditions here for the actual device all the certifications and things like that. You then get a USB-C charging cable. Uh, so you will have to use a charging brick. Uh, you should have one lying around, you can just use that. And then here is the phone. So the phone is actually already in the case. It comes with a case, which so you don't have to buy an extra case, it comes with one. You get your three cameras on the back. You get your phone right here, which right when you turn it on, it is set up, ready to go. And that's after you have already purchased it online, which only takes a few minutes. You can see USB charging at the bottom. You get a headphone jack at the bottom, speaker. All right, so we have everything set up. It did a couple of updates. If you want to connect to Wi-Fi, all you're going to do is swipe down from the top like I just did. Press and hold on this Wi-Fi button. And then tap on your Wi-Fi network and connect to it. It's pretty easy and then it'll you know finish the update and you can install it. So this is the way the phone looks right when you get it after you do the updates and everything else. So when you swipe over to the left you get your free here which is Samsung free. It's basically a news outlet of sorts that allows you to get information uh, on the internet whatever there may be. So you can see how it looks. Hit your home button. These are your home screens. You can create as many home screens as you want just by pressing and holding. You can see I can hit plus and add another home screen. I can keep doing that basically as many as I want. Right now there's only two apps on here on the home screen. You can see my phone app and also my camera. Open up your camera and allow you to take photos, videos, you can do portrait mode uh, video. You have your pro mode, your panorama, your food mode photos and your macro. And if you want to switch the camera, hit the double-sided circular arrow, and that'll allow you to switch between the different cameras. Hit your home button. Three buttons down here at the bottom are for the following. This is your back button to go back. So if I open up the phone, I hit the back button, it'll go back. Also, you can hit your home button from anywhere and go home. Doesn't matter where you are. Um, you can hit this for your recent apps. This is going to show you any apps that you have open. And what you can do here is you can tap on it to open the app. Maybe you just want to open up uh, your camera again. You're able to do that, hit home to go back. Swipe up to see all of your apps. And for me, if I was setting this up for a kid, I would want to bring my messages. So I'm going to press and hold that. I'm going to bring it up here. And then I'm going to drag it down. And I'm going to be like, there we go. Perfect. Phone, messages, and uh, the camera. And also maybe I want them to be able to access the Play Store. So I'll press and hold that, drag it up here, and then I'll put it right there. So you have the ability to add any and all of these apps. Maybe you want the Bark Dog, uh, dog uh, app on there to be there, your settings, so the kids can easily access settings. Whatever you want here, you're able to do it. Maybe for an alarm clock, you can come in here and set that so it's on the home screen. This is great to see if they want to see their photos, the gallery app. And that is looking pretty good to me at that point. Um, we'll also bring this Bark app as well, because you do get, if you didn't know, uh, since you do sign up with the Bark phone, you end up getting their Bark premium service, which generally costs $14 a month, but it's included in your monthly cost that you pay, which if you're not sure what the monthly cost is, currently at the time of making this video, it is uh, as little as $49, and that would give you unlimited talk and text and Wi-Fi data only. $59 per month, you get unlimited talk and text and four gigabytes per month of data on their cellular network, or obviously unlimited Wi-Fi at the same time. And then for $69 per month, you get unlimited talk and text, eight gigabytes of data per month on the side of the network and then unlimited Wi-Fi. Now before we go into that Bark Premium app, I just wanted to run through some additional features of this phone. 
So if you swipe down from the top and you hit the gear right here, uh, or you could hit settings where we just added it as well, it's gonna bring you to the same location. What you can do down here is if you go into biometrics and security, tap on that, go to fingerprints. So you can set up a fingerprint. Let's hit continue. And but, but first you have to set up a pattern, a pin or a password. I'll use a pin and I'm gonna do one, two, three, four. Now before I hit continue, I'm gonna tap on this. Confirm pin without tapping okay. So my child, if he puts in their pin, doesn't have to hit the okay button. You just have to put the pin in and it'll unlock the phone. One, two, three, four, hit okay. And there you go, now I am ready to set up my fingerprint. It's on the side here. So it's gonna be, this is actually my favorite place for a fingerprint. And you just, you don't have to press the button in, just place your finger along that and do it a few times and you'll be able to set up the fingerprint sensor on here so that you can unlock the phone when you need to. All right, my fingerprint is now added. I'm gonna hit done. If you want as well, you can go back here under biometrics and security and you can do face recognition so that it'll unlock with your face. I like this as well. I'm gonna hit continue and it'll register my face. I'm gonna add my face to it real quick. It's scanning it, almost done. Uh, take off my glasses now, I'm gonna hit continue and it's gonna scan my face in case I don't have my glasses on as well. Perfect, so now it is now registered and this one I would turn off where it says stay on lock screen until swipe. This is going to allow you to, when you unlock it with your face, it'll automatically go into the phone, it won't stay on the lock screen. So hit done and then hit the back button. Back button one more time. Okay, so now at this point, let's get to setting up the Bark Guard Dog. So tap that and it's gonna bring you into this page right here where it's gonna allow you to scan this QR code with your phone or you can go to phone.bark.us. So I'm gonna scan it with my phone currently. I tap it. All right, so it's bringing me to this website. So let's get to your child's new device set up. I'm gonna hit let's go. And I've already, when I signed up to get this phone to purchase it, it had me set up a profile for my son. So I'm gonna say, yes, it's Finn's phone. And it's preparing the device for Finn. Set up Wi-Fi if the device is locked, swipe up. So I already set up his Wi-Fi. And so I'm gonna say, I set up Wi-Fi. This is where you can enable Bark VPN if the device is locked. Swipe up to unlock Finn's phone. If you don't see a prompt, open the Bark Kids app from the home screen and click OK. So we're gonna, the reason you'd wanna do this is basically anything that your kid does on here, and actually it popped up right here on the screen. I didn't even really have to do anything because I'm doing it on the other phone. It says Bark wants to set up a VPN connection that allows it to monitor network traffic. Only accept, so I'm gonna hit okay. So basically that does a couple things. It allows you to monitor your kid's traffic, but at the same time, it keeps their information safe. So if they use this phone on a public Wi-Fi network um, or any Wi-Fi network, it will protect them and will encrypt that information that they're sending. And if you wanna verify if the Bark VPN is Enable to swipe down from the top and you'll see Bark VPN is active. At this point, I'm gonna hit, I enabled the VPN. And this is where you can allow App Store, allow Finn to browse and install apps from the App Store. Now, if you have a young child or you don't trust your kid or whatever the reason, you can turn that on or off so that they can't go into the App Store to download apps. Um, you can also require app approval. So if you do leave it on, you can, uh, you can have it so that they need to get your uh, information to approve it in order to do that. So what I'll do is I'll leave the app store on and I'll require app approval. Texting and calling, you can enable or disable receiving of text messages right there on or off. You can require contact approval, choose which phone numbers Finn can call or text. You can, and you can turn that on or off if you want. Other device settings, you can enable or disable the camera. Web browsing, allow Finn to browse the web using the device's default web browser. So let's just bring this phone up real quick. I'm gonna hit my home button. And you can see when I swipe up, I don't see an internet browser in here. There is no internet browser. So if I allow it, let's just hit allowed. It should pop up, up in, on here in just a moment. So I'm gonna hit looks good. It gives me a congratulation and says his phone number set up and the phone number is ready to use. I'm gonna hit done. So while I'm in here, you have a setup checklist which you can connect Finn's apps and devices. So if you tap on that, you can see Android monitoring. I want Finn to help ask Finn to connect accounts. I can hit next. Review Finn's alert sensitivity. 
uh, or you can track all of that information uh, that comes through this. So hit next. Screen time, review and activate Finn's rules. If you tap on that, you can use pre-configured rules for uh, children six and under and it'll block that kind of content. Social media and six other categories are blocked. Safe search turned on for search engines automatically. Device settings, you can allow or disallow these different uh, settings with on the, within the phone. You can block this kind of content. Uh, social media, you can block these apps so that they cannot use them. Now for me, I would be fine use, and my child using uh, Google Meet so that they can video chat with family and friends so it's easier for them, so I would turn that on. Um, certain games that are allowed, and you can see it's, it's allowing certain games on here, and you can disallow it if you want, like maybe you don't want them to be able to play Xbox Live or to be able to play Roblox or whatever it is, you can turn that on or off. Same thing with the streaming services as well. You also have YouTube, you can require restricted mode for YouTube so that they can, it'll block some of the content on YouTube. Uh, search engines, you can require search uh, when using Google, Bing, or DuckDuckGo, block all other search engines that don't have safe search features. I, unidentifiable traffic, this includes sites. So you have complete control with easy on and off switches for all of these different apps and settings. I can set up Finn's app store, so when I come in here, I can hit continue, and this is gonna be where, uh, is this, does Finn have an account, or is it for me? I can put yes, Finn has a supervised account, no, Finn only has a school issued account, or no, Finn doesn't have a Google account, or you don't have the password. So you can choose which one you wanna set up. So I will do that uh, Finn doesn't have a Google account, and if I want, I can block and allow app store on his phone. I can just tap the bark phone, in the parent app and select app store. Next, I'm gonna tap on location alerts and I can let myself know when he's arrived at certain locations. So I can put in, for instance, school and I can type his school address. And when I'm done, I can hit add location. So this is my phone right here and this allows me to, again, go into any of the things that I've just recently set up. So I can tap on, tap on bark phone I can do bark phone settings, I can tap text for instance, and I can turn this stuff on or off and set rules for all of that stuff. Here's the dashboard. Uh, I can set screen time limitations if need be and switch the rules or pause his device so it blocks the internet on his device. I can go to monitoring and I can monitor exactly what has happened on here. The following apps are automatically monitored by bark for kids Android apps. You can go into insights and this will tell you if it's done any of the activities that were being tracked or if any alerts for his phone have been tracked. It'll show me the recently installed apps on the device so I can take hold of any of that kind of stuff and block it if need be. Another cool one is location, tap on that. And when I'm in here, I can actually check exactly where he's been recently within the last couple of hours or show me on a map. Going back into the Bark phone, I wanna show you two things. So, for instance, if I come in here and if I try to call someone, say I'm the child and I'm trying to call a phone number, I'm gonna hit call. It automatically says we've detected a call with one unapproved number. Click each number below to request approval. So they can't just call or receive calls from somebody that isn't already in their context that they know. So they have to tap on that and they have to please provide information to send for approval name and how you know them. So I could put like, whatever, Greg and uh, for approval, friend, whatever it may be. Hit send. And what ends up happening is you get an actual email notification to the parent's phone allowing you to review, review their quest. You can tap on review request and it brings you back into the Bark app and this is where you can confirm, we can block the number or you can allow it. Let's just say we want to allow it, I can hit confirm. And you can see all set allowed one contact, it may take a few minutes to apply, hit done. So that's absolutely amazing to be able to control who my child can and cannot contact, either when they send or receive a call or send or receive a message. So just to show you some more features on the phone, I'm going to the gallery app. Here's a couple of photos that I took. You can see it takes some good quality photos. That looks actually really good with the portrait mode. Here's a video. You're recording with the front facing camera on 
the Bark phone. See, the video looks good. Here's a rear facing camera. Here's a recording with the back camera on the Bark phone. So you can see no problems at all with taking photos or videos, looks good. So if you're used to a Samsung device, you can tell this has a fairly bright display. Uh, overall, I don't even have it that bright right now, but you can see I can go a lot brighter. It'll get nice and bright. Also, you can see it has all the Samsung quality features that you expect with all the Samsung apps that you expect from the theming uh, to the camera app, their text messaging app. Uh, you've got the full Play Store if need be, or you can block some of that stuff out. Also, don't forget when you get this phone, the case comes pre-installed, the SIM card is already in here, and everything is activated for you, so you don't have to do any of that. All you have to do is basically set up the Bark app on the phone, connect it with your phone, and that's pretty much it. So if you wanna order the Bark phone, it is listed down below. I think it's great because of the reasons of, it takes all the guesswork out of setting up and controlling a kid's smartphone from your phone. It's so simple. You see everything step by step, everything's written out clearly, it's not confusing, and it's easy to use. So if you wanna pick it up, it's linked down below. No huge upfront costs, uh, no contracts that you're locked into, everything is just simple. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.